If your games lag, stutter, or suffer from unstable FPS, background Windows services might be the cause. These hidden processes eat up RAM and CPU without helping your gameplay. In this video, I'll show you how to safely disable useless services that hurt performance. I've tested these tweaks on low-end and mid-range PCs, and the FPS gains are real. Stick around till the end and unlock smoother, faster gaming. Let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Before we dive into the advanced Windows settings, let's start with a powerful and time-saving utility called ShutUp10 Plus. This tool is one of the best when it comes to safely disabling unnecessary Windows services without risking any system instability. It's designed to be beginner-friendly, offering a simple interface that makes it easy to understand what each setting does. One of the best things about ShutUp10 Plus is how effectively it balances performance with safety, making it perfect for gamers looking to optimize their system. To download this utility, just head over to my official website, up2packs.com, go to the FPS Boost section, and look for the post that matches this video's title and thumbnail. Once you're there, scroll down and you'll find a direct download link waiting for you. When you launch the app, you'll notice that several options are already turned on by default. These are based on ShutUp 10 Plus Plus's recommended settings. However, you're free to modify or disable them according to your own preferences. Inside the app, there are two main sections, Current User and Local Machine. The Current User tab deals with personal settings like privacy controls, activity history, clipboard access, app permissions, Microsoft Edge tracking, Windows Sync, Cortana for Windows 10 users, Windows Copilot, User Data Collection, File Explorer behavior, Lock Screen adjustments, and Taskbar or Search Bar customizations. Meanwhile, the Local Machine tab covers system-wide configurations. It includes similar categories but goes a step further with deeper privacy settings, enhanced security options, and detailed control over Windows update behavior. This gives you more extensive authority over the way Windows functions on a technical level. Before changing anything, it's strongly advised to export your current configuration. This backup makes it easy to restore your settings later or use them on another PC. When you're ready to begin, ShutUp10 Plus Plus provides three main preset levels of optimization. Green settings are fully recommended. They boost privacy, enhance security, and improve performance without interfering with essential Windows features. Yellow settings include more aggressive tweaks that might affect how certain features behave, so use them based on your needs. All settings applies every tweak available, but this option could disable features you occasionally rely on. You can also undo all changes at any time, and the app allows you to create a system restore point before applying tweaks, which is highly recommended for safety. Once you've finalized and applied your choices, simply close the app. These adjustments will reduce background processes, enhance responsiveness, and help Fortnite run much smoother, giving you a noticeable edge in gameplay. Now let's move on to the Windows Registry optimization step included in the folder. Inside, you'll find a set of expert-picked registry tweaks designed to improve system responsiveness and boost gaming performance. These tweaks reduce background overhead, disable unnecessary services, and shift system focus towards speed and efficiency. Just apply all the recommended registry files. Once done, you'll notice smoother gameplay, reduced input lag, and more stable FPS across all games. It's a simple but powerful way to push your system closer to peak performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. 
Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Let's optimize your background window services to boost FPS and overall performance. By disabling unnecessary services, you'll free up RAM, reduce CPU usage, and eliminate background tasks that aren't needed for gaming. This allows your system to focus more on your game, resulting in smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and potentially higher FPS, especially on lower-end systems. Press the Win Plus R keys on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. In the box, type services.msc and press Enter. This will open the services window, where all the services running in the background of your system are listed. The services window allows you to view, manage, and configure system services that can impact your PC's performance. To reduce unnecessary background activity and free up system resources, you can disable the connected user experiences and telemetry service. This Windows service continuously gathers usage data and sends it to Microsoft, which might help improve the OS, but offers no benefit for gaming performance. In fact, it can consume CPU resources and generate background network traffic, which is far from ideal for gamers. Right-click on it and select Properties. In the new window, locate the Startup Type drop-down and set it to Disabled. If the service is currently running, click the Stop button to halt it immediately. Once done, click Apply and then OK to finalize the changes. With this telemetry service turned off, your system will have fewer background processes to manage, which can lead to smoother gaming performance and lower system overhead. Another background service that impacts performance is Diagnostics Tracking Service, also known as DiagTrack or DM Wapush VC. It works in conjunction with connected user experiences to track system and user activity. While intended for diagnostics and feedback, this service adds unnecessary load on your system, especially during gaming, by using CPU cycles and occasionally causing network activity. Right-click on Diagnostics Tracking Service, or DM Wapush VC, and select Properties. In the Startup Type drop-down, set it to Disabled and click Stop if the service is currently running. After confirming the changes with Apply and OK, you'll have disabled another telemetry feature. This not only helps reduce background processes, but can also prevent sudden CPU spikes during gameplay, leading to more stable performance. If you don't regularly use a printer, the print spooler service is unnecessary and can safely be disabled on gaming PCs. This service remains active in the background, even when no printer is connected, and on low-end systems, it can slightly impact memory usage and background performance. To turn it off, scroll through the services list and locate print spooler. Right-click on it and choose Properties. In the Startup Type drop-down menu, select Disabled and then click Stop to immediately shut down the service. Once you apply and save the changes, your system will no longer allocate resources to a service you don't need. This can lead to slightly improved responsiveness and smoother performance during gaming sessions, especially on systems with limited RAM. The Windows Error Reporting Service is designed to send crash reports and error logs to Microsoft. While it can be helpful for diagnostics, it quietly runs in the background and activates whenever an issue occurs, including during gameplay, potentially causing momentary freezes or stutters. To disable it, open the services window and find Windows Error Reporting Service in the list. Right-click and select Properties. From the Startup Type drop-down, choose Disabled, then click Apply and OK to confirm the changes. With this service turned off, your system avoids unnecessary background interruptions during gaming. This can help reduce minor freezes or lag spikes, especially in more demanding or fast-paced titles. If you don't use remote desktop features, several related services continue running in the background unnecessarily. These include remote desktop services, remote registry, and remote desktop configuration. Even when not in use, they reserve system resources and can slightly impact performance, particularly on low-end PCs. To disable them, open the services window and search for each of these services by name. Remote desktop services, remote registry, and remote desktop configuration. For each one, right-click and select Properties. In the Startup Type drop-down, choose Disabled, then click Stop to immediately halt the service. 
Once all three are disabled, your system will no longer waste resources maintaining inactive connections. This can lead to faster boot times and a noticeable improvement in overall responsiveness during both daily use and gaming. If you don't connect any Bluetooth devices to your PC, the Bluetooth support service becomes unnecessary. It quietly consumes memory and can occasionally spike CPU usage as it scans for nearby devices, which is wasteful, especially on lower-end systems. To disable it, open the services window and find Bluetooth support service. Right-click on it and select properties. Set the startup type to disabled and click stop to turn it off immediately. Before disabling, laptop users should ensure they aren't using Bluetooth peripherals like wireless headphones or controllers. But for desktop users without any Bluetooth hardware, turning this off can lead to a small but worthwhile performance boost. The Program Compatibility Assistance Service is designed to adjust settings for older programs to ensure they run properly on modern versions of Windows. However, for most modern games and applications, this service is unnecessary and can introduce delays during launch. To disable it, open the Services window and locate the Program Compatibility Assistance Service. Right-click and select Properties. In the Startup Type drop-down, set it to Disabled, then click Stop to immediately halt the service. By turning this service off, you'll reduce launch delays and prevent any unexpected compatibility prompts from appearing while gaming, allowing for a smoother experience. On low-end PCs or systems with HDDs, Windows Search can be a performance drain. It continuously indexes files in the background, consuming CPU resources and slowing down your system, especially during gaming or other intensive tasks. To disable it, open the Services window and locate Windows Search in the list. Right-click on it, choose Properties, set the startup type to Disabled, and click Stop to immediately halt the service. While this tweak can significantly improve performance, particularly on systems with older CPUs or HDDs, be aware that search results in the Start menu will take longer. However, for gaming and overall system responsiveness, this is a worthwhile trade-off. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Peace out.